Hey everybody, uh, it's Kel. I'm behind the camera and a little horse. Bear with me. Uh, anyway, so the Dino sweater is complete. I'm super happy with it. The person that's for is super happy with all the pictures. Yay. And I thought you'd enjoy a little bit of a walkthrough of how it all came together. So first of all, this was based on a photo of a knitted sweater that looked very similar. Um, the pattern was no longer available because otherwise I would have just bought the pattern and like expanded it to where I needed it in terms of like it's a kid's sweater, gotta size it for an adult. Uh, but instead I just used the photo as a general guide and uh, made shit up as I went. So uh, first thing, this is a raglan increase sweater done in sport weight yarn in half double crochet. Um, this neck piece here was uh, added once I completed the body of the sweater, so I did not start here and then expand out. Uh, you can see where I first started my increases and then the neck is its own thing. Um, all of this, all the blue and all the orange uh, for the dinosaur body was just color change. You can see, you know, if you're looking this closely, where I carried the yarn throughout for uh, starts and ends. And I did that on both of them just to be be certain I was securing it completely, you know. And the thing is, you come back this far, you can't see it. So, yay. Um, the These spikes were different. I embroidered them the first time and then just felt like they weren't quite right. So, undid it. Uh, did another one that wasn't quite right and then figured this one out. So, these are, if you look real close, I single crocheted into the stitches. So around the post basically, and then I worked around a row of single crochet back down, and then each of these spikes is individually done, but this is all a single piece up to the shoulder here and a little bit over. Um, because I got to the top of the spike and then I slip stitched down to the bottom and then I made the next spike and slip stitched and so on. Uh, Dots were done separately and then attached, so they're technically appliques. Same with the eye. The mouth, the leg lines, and the outline of our dino friend here are all surface crochet. And this was done, um, it was done originally on the body to make it a little less blocky, and then this was done because they had the, the lines in the reference image, and so I just surface crocheted those. Um, the grass here is a color change with some spike stitches, so it looks more like grass. This is just, uh, I think this was back loop only, half double to give it a little bit of texture. And then over here on this sleeve you have, I did more of the, uh, the spike stitches to make it look like grass, and then same uh, back loop only. Also, this allows for this to be stretchier, which is something that uh, I like in cuffs. Um, and then, of course, you know, kind of the big thing here is our stand-up stitches. So I started these spikes the same as I started these spikes, so I worked a single crochet through every uh, every stitch. There we go, there's the word. And then I worked the spikes one at a time, working that slip stitch down, and then to get it to stand up, I did a I did a row of single crochet around floral wire, which brings us to the back of the sweater. Um, and so you can see, like I've got this little bit here. This is the floral wire, floral wire that I was using, and I bent it back and flat. I love using floral wire. Get, hiding it can be a little difficult. Um, I'm gonna tweak this again to make it at least smaller, but it's probably not gonna get tucked in any more than that. Um, same thing with down here. You can see where it starts. Uh, you know, and this is part of buying handmade. Is you're going to get something. You know, you can. You're gonna get something that might have a couple of small things that aren't absolutely perfect, and that's just how it goes. Um, oh, speaking of that. That was because I dropped a stitch and needed to save my ass, and so I did a triple crochet. And looks like uh, I just need to do a little bit of sewing right there. Whoops. Um, and speaking of other mistakes, I 
this neck is uh, built to the neck measurement I was given, uh, but you gotta fit your head through a sweater. Weird, I know. So I added these buttons as a fix to that. So they unbutton and then you can get your head through and then you can button it up again. Um, and this top button is left a little extra loose, uh, specifically so the neck can be a little more adjustable. These I found on Etsy. They're very cute. I bought them after the strike. Want that noted. Um, what else? Oh, I just, I had an end to pop out right there. All right, you'll get sewn back in in a second. Um, oh, and then over here, I, I'm sure I had a vague plan for why I went past the point that I needed orange, but I don't remember what it was. And so, uh, added some spikes along the back here to sort of enjoy you know, the mistake there, like, and, uh, I, I really want to thank, uh, the person who commissioned this for working with me when I had my flubs, um, it's, it can be a really fun part of the process to figure out how to work with them, so that is, turn back around, buddy, Ah, oh, there we go, that is the dinosaur sweater, and it is complete, ta-da!